Hi everyone, welcome back. Today we're going to be trying some makeup from the new Charlotte Tilbury Super Nudes collection. I have the Nudegasm face palette, the Super Nudes eyeshadow palette, and one of the lipsticks. So if you are interested in how I got this look and seeing me use some of these products from the new Charlotte Tilbury Super Nudes collection, Please keep watching. If you're new here, hi, my name is Blair. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. I post three times a week all kinds of makeup content. So we do high-end and drugstore reviews, get ready with me, all kinds of makeup content. So if you love makeup and you're liking these types of videos, definitely subscribe. I post on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Let's go ahead and get into the video. Today we are gonna try out the new Charlotte Tilbury Super Nudes, or not the whole collection, but some of the collection. Um, so the first thing that we're going to try out is the Nudegasm Face Palette. You guys know I was struggling with this. I wanted this so badly. So I, I caved. I caved, you guys. I just couldn't help it. So this is what the packaging looks like. So, so pretty. I will say that I had one of her previous, um, what is it called, the Lightgasm, I think it was, or, yeah, I think it was called Lightgasm, and it had uh, more blushes and highlights in it rather than the bronzers, or two bronzers like this one has, and I was not a huge fan of the Lightgasm palette. I actually decluttered mine, believe it or not. I never do clutter Charlotte Tilbury, but I got rid of mine because I just was not using it, and I don't know. I just felt like I didn't need it in my collection, but I could not. I couldn't resist this, okay? <laughs> so we have two bronze shades. This one is uh, darker. This one is lighter. She calls them sculpt shades, and then we have, or okay, this is super sculpt right here and this is soft sculpt and then we have um is this multi-glow yeah multi-glow right here which could be a blush could be a highlight depending on your skin tone and then a highlight right here so i'll quickly swatch these for you so you can see palette is so pretty i really don't even want to swatch it because i don't want to mess it up so you please forgive me, I'm not a very good swatcher, okay? So we have the Super Sculpt shade right here, then we have the Soft Sculpt, we have the Blush Multi Glow here, and then we have the Highlighter down here. Definitely, for sure, they should have had a, at least one other shade range in this palette. Just because these are, I mean, this Super Sculpt shade is deep for me, but if you are a medium to deep, dark skin tone, that's not going to show up on you. So I wish they would have done another palette. I know a lot of people have been saying that. It's absolutely true. They definitely should have because these colors are not going to work for everybody. Also, one other thing, this is pretty pricey for a face palette. It retails for $75. And I believe it was the same with her previous Lightgasm. And there were two, Lightgasm and another one that I can't remember the name of. I think they were $75 as well. So I'm going to first go into this Super Sculpt right here. And I want to see how dark this looks on my skin tone. I'm going to use a Charlotte Tilbury brush also. This is the Powder and Sculpt brush. I think this originally came out to go with her Film Star Bronze and Glow. But I am going to get some of the Super Sculpt shade and apply this under my cheekbone here. So there it is. Very, very pretty. But again, like I, I got a good bit of product on my brush and it isn't super dark and intense on me. So if you're a lot deeper than me, I don't know how much this is gonna show up on you. I'm gonna go in with a little bit more and see. Very, very pretty though. 
definitely uh, more of a contour shade. This this shade looks a little bit cooler to me than the soft sculpt. That one looks slightly a little bit warmer. So we'll do super sculpt on the other side. And I will list everything uh, I have on my face. In the description box, I did set my foundation with just a little bit of Charlotte Tilbury airbrush powder, in case you're curious, because I wanted to make sure these powders applied as evenly as possible. I'm taking a little bit more of the soft sculpt, or the super sculpt, sorry, shade, and just kind of lightly going around the hairline. Okay, so there's the super sculpt on that side. I didn't get anything else on my brush. I just want to kind of blend this a little bit more. My hair is getting in the way. Okay, so there it is. Definitely went in with a much heavier hand on this side. So you can see it shows up a good bit more on me. But let's go ahead and add a little bit of the soft sculpt and see what we think about that. I'm just going to take anything that's left on my brush and kind of go down the sides of my nose. Okay, I'm gonna use, um, I think I'm gonna use a different brush for the soft sculpt. I'm gonna use a little bit of a larger brush. This is a BK Beauty 104. It's just a little bit, a little bit larger, kind of the same shape just bigger. And just start going all over, not all over my face, but over more of my face than I did with the Super Sculpt. And I bring some down my neck as well. I have a feeling this palette would also be really pretty on the eyes as eyeshadow. But I do have the um, Super Nudes eyeshadow palette to use today, but I feel like it might be pretty on the eyes as well. And that shade is very, very light. Um, I mean, it added a little bit more warmth to my face, but it's not super pigmented. Honestly, on the day-to-day, -day, I would probably mix the two of these and just kind of apply it like we did the Super Sculpt shade, but it is pretty. Not a ton of color, but it's nice. It blends well with the Super Sculpt. Now let's move into the blush or highlight, depending on how you want to use it. So this shade right here, this shade really reminds me just looking at it in this pan and looking at the swatch, it really reminds me of the Peach Gasm Beauty Light Wand. It looks very similar to that, just in powder form. Okay, so I'm gonna use this brush. This is a Smashbox Buildable Cheek Brush. And we will apply the blush. Pretty. Yeah, this really reminds me of Peach Gasm. So not the pink Gasm that um, Madison Beer <laughs> made really famous. It's that same product, but the peach version, that's what this reminds me of. Oh yeah, that's very pretty. Put what's left on my nose. I feel like this would also be pretty as a blush topper. So if you used more of a matte blush and then you went over the top of it with a little bit of this, I feel like that would be really pretty. Not super intense, but I'm using a very fluffy brush to apply it, so that could also be part of it. Sometimes it's more about the tools you're using to apply something rather than the product itself, you know what I mean? This applies everything very sheerly, but the color is very nice. All right, and then I want to use a little bit of the highlight, which is right here. So it's a light gold 
We're gonna use just, this is a tapered highlight brush from Ulta Beauty, actually. Okay, this highlight kind of reminds me of the highlight from the Film Star Bronze and Glow, but it's a little more intense. The Film Star Bronze and Glow highlight is very, very kind of muted. It's more of a natural looking highlight. This kind of reminds me of that one tone wise, but it's a little more, a um, little more intense. I do think these apply with more pigment than her previous palettes that I was talking about, the Light Gasm and whatever the second shade was, I can't remember. I feel like the this one applies with more pigment, which I like. That was kind of my main issue with the last one is I just felt like I had to continually go in to get more and more and more and more and more and more and more, and, more. and I just wasn't getting um, very much pigment. So yeah, this one's very pretty. I just wish they had a second color range. Okay, so that is it for the palette and I'm gonna quickly prime my eyes and then we will move on to the Super Nudes Easy Eye Palette. Okay, we're gonna move on to the eyeshadow now. So this is the Super Nudes Easy Eye Palette. Now this palette was not new when it was released with this collection. She did come out with this, I think it was last year, and I never got it when it came out the first time. So I wanted to try it this time. So this is what it looks like. It's just a really pretty neutral palette. Six shades you have, let me see if I can swatch these for you real quickly, even though I am not a fantastic swatcher. If you have the Charlotte Tilbury, uh, what is it called? The Charlotte Darling palette or the Easy Eye palette. I can't remember what it's called, but this, the texture of these feels very similar to that one. So here are these swatches. Really pretty, nice neutral palette. Okay, if you're not familiar with these, so she kind of separates her shadows by a date eye, one, two, three, and then a day eye, one, two, three. So we're gonna go in, let's see, what should we use? I think I'm gonna take this shade. Actually, I'm gonna take this one. So this is the lightest shade in the palette. It's like this white, it's not a white, it's an off-white, a creamy color. And I'm going to just apply this all over my eye. So I'm going to go on the lid and all the way up to my brow bone. Next, we're going to go into this shade right here. It's kind of just a mid-toned neutral brown. And I'm going to use this in or above my crease as my transition shade. That's a really pretty color. It's very light and neutral, but it definitely is a good transition. Like that one color by itself is really nice. And I'm personally keeping my eye open when I'm doing this so I can make sure that I'm getting the color above where my natural crease is since I have more of a hooded eye. Next we're going to go into the shade next to it which is here. It's also a brown a little bit deeper though than that one we just used. And I'm going to take my tapered brush. This is the BK Beauty 202. And again, I'm gonna try to keep my eye open and just kind of lightly apply this in the outer part of the eye. So that's pretty, it just kind of deepened it up slightly in the outer corner. 
I feel like these two shades together would be a really good, easy, everyday eye look with just two colors. Okay, then I'm going to take a smaller little brush. This is also from BK Beauty. It's the 203. And I'm going to go into the next shade, which is this shade right here. I thought at first when I looked at it, this shade was more of a gray, but it has a little bit of a purpley undertone to it, like almost like an eggplant color. It's really pretty. And so I'm getting just a little bit of that color on this brush and just tapping it off. And again, I'm going to keep my eye open and just basically deposit that color right where I want it. Kind of bring it down to the lash line. Ooh, that's nice. So I'm really just going to apply it where I want it. And then I'll take a blending brush and kind of blend it out slightly. I find this is the easiest way if you're applying something that's a little dark for you and it makes you a little bit nervous. I would take a smaller brush and kind of place it right where you want it and then go back with your biggest blending brush that you have and kind of lightly go over it. So I'm just in tiny little circles kind of blending this out. So yeah, that just kind of diffused it a little bit. I'm also holding my brush very, very, almost at the very, very edge because I want this to be really, really soft. I mentioned this in another video, but I'm trying to kind of practice making my eyeshadow a little less winged and a little more rounded because I tend to do more of the winged out shape. Just with my eye shape, I feel like I just kind of naturally do that based on how my brow bone is and how my eyes pretty hooded, but I'm trying to get better at not doing that. So if you're curious, that's why I'm kind of blending up this way and not so much out this way because I'm trying to round it out and not wing it out. I really want to use this dark shade. I honestly can't tell if it's supposed to be a black or if it's supposed to be like a dark navy. I think I'm going to try, I'm going to use this. This is the 204 from BK Beauty. It's the smudger brush and I'm going to go into the dark shade and I'm literally taking like one tap in that color just in case it's really really pigmented. I don't want to overdo it here and I'm basically just going to use this along the outer half of my lash line like as like a messy kind of eyeliner look. Like that, so it just looks nice and diffused, but it defines my lash line just a little bit. And let's see, what should we do next? I think I might take the, this is kind of a light gray, so this shade right here, and I'm gonna use that 202 from BK Beauty. And with this, I'm just gonna kinda go over my crease and kind of blend towards the middle. I'm not really trying to get a lot of color here. I'm just kind of, I wanted to use all the colors in the palette. So I'm just kind of blending the edges and kind of pulling it over. Okay, now I'm gonna try to intensify this um, dark shade here with a liner brush just kind of on the outer corner of my eye with a angled brush like this. And I kind of like it how it is, like it looks very soft, but I kind of want to just try this and see how it is. So I'm gonna take this little Sephora 22 brush and go into the dark shade here. 
And this is kind of a new thing that I'm kind of testing out. I'm kind of nervous to do it because I really don't want to screw this up because I really like how this looks. But lately I have actually kind of been going on my bottom lash line and putting a little bit of whatever darker color I'm using and then kind of dragging it up like that and it doesn't I mean it doesn't do a whole lot but I feel like it kind of connects the bottom lash line and really shows where you should angle up your liner so if you start just like at the very very base here and pull up I feel like it kind of lifts your eye a little bit kind of like a mini baby wing so I've kind of been experimenting with that a little bit lately. Okay, and then the last thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back into the first shade we used, so that light cream color. And I'm just gonna pop a little bit of that right in the center, just to bring a little bit of that brightness. I'm just going to take a mix of the first, uh, the second and third shade we used. So this light brown and then the darker brown. I'm going to take one, basically one tap in each. And then I'm going to take one more little, basically a tap into that dark shade. And I'm using the same little baby brush. And I'm just putting this in the very outer corner and trying to connect up to where we have that shade on the top. And then I think that's about it for the shadow. I'm just gonna take my big fluffy brush real quickly one more time just to make sure everything is nice and blended. And there it is, you guys. That is a very pretty neutral eye look. And surprisingly enough, I did not use shimmer. I typically use a little bit of shimmer on my eyes, but I kind of like this matte. I don't know, I like these colors together. I think it's really pretty. Um, so this palette, I think, very nice. If you have tons of neutral eyeshadow palettes, I'm sure that you probably have these shades already. So do you have to go out and buy it? No, you do not. Um, I just, y'all know I'm a Charlotte Tilbury addict and I kind of wanted this the first time it came out. So I figured since I was going to get a few things from this collection, I would go ahead and get it. And I do really like how this turned out. The other thing I wanted to point out is I am actually, like I said earlier, trying out a concealer under my eyes right now. I'm not going to tell you which one. I will uh, link it above in the cards for you if it's up, but if not, it's coming. And I do not have powder under my eyes. Um, I was trying to wait a little while before I use any powder, so I was curious to see if I'd have fallout from this palette, and I have no fallout, you guys. None. That's something I've noticed across the board with Charlotte Tilbury shadows. Number one, they're not super pigmented, but you can build them up. They blend really well, and I personally don't experience much fallout at all, which I really, really love. So those are kind of my thoughts as of now on this palette, but I'm going to go ahead and apply some mascara, and then I'll come back and we will finish up with the lips. Okay, let's move on to, I only got one lipstick from this collection, even though I kind of... <sighs> There's like two more that I really want, but I went with this one. So this is the, look how cute this lipstick packaging is. I mean, so cute. Anyway, this is the Super Nudes Modern Matte Long Lasting Lipstick. And this is the shade Supermodel. I got this shade because um, Melissa Herkman on Instagram because I was talking about how much she loves this shade and I guess they had released it a while ago like as a limited edition and then you couldn't get it and now they re-released it with this Super News collection. 
So that's it there. It's just kind of a rose, rosy nude, I guess. But spoiler, I've already used this and I love it. Love it. Especially paired with this lip liner. So we're going to use the Lip Cheat in the shade Love Trap. And this is actually a color that I've had for a while, but I never use this color. I don't know why, but I don't. The reason I pulled this out and started using it is because I was watching um, Shelby Wilson and she was, she loves Charlotte Tilbury. She loves the lip cheats. And she was talking about how she got this one. And this was like her new favorite color. And when I saw her using it, I remembered that I have this. I just don't use it. So I used it with this supermodel the other day and I loved it. So I'll show you. And this color is kind of, kind of rosy, but I also think it has a little bit of a brownish undertone to it. But you'll see in a second, it pairs really, really well with this supermodel lipstick. And then this color, maybe it's just me, but I'm obsessed with this. I love this color. It kind of reminds me of Pillow Talk a little bit, but something about the undertone is a little different. It's not as rosy but it definitely has a rose undertone to it I don't know something about it though I just love I think it's so so pretty and one thing I was going to mention about Charlotte Tilbury lipsticks if you are scared of the matte revolution ones because you don't like matte lipsticks don't be because her mattes are actually very hydrating they're like one of the most hydrating matte lipsticks I have in my collection so I'm not typically a huge fan of matte lipsticks, but I do really like hers. And then I've been topping it with this. This is just the Lawless Forget the Filler Lip Gloss. And I've just been taking a little bit of that on my lips. And this is the combo I've been doing and I'm obsessed with it. I love it so much. There's another color. I think it's called Catwalking, maybe, that's more of like a peachy color that I kind of want. I feel like it would be really pretty with this eye look, too, but I love the shade Supermodel. And this is the final look with the Charlotte Tilbury Super Nudes collection. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. I wanted to quickly kind of give you my thoughts on these products. So the first thing is the Nudegasm Face Palette. Number one, I think this is beautiful because it works for my skin tone. Now, I 100% agree this is not going to work for everybody. I think they should have definitely had a second color theme in this palette because I like it. I think it's very creamy. It was pretty easy to blend and apply. And for me, the colors are really, really nice. I do think they needed a second color story, though, if not three color stories because this is definitely not going to work for everybody. I basically bought this because I am a Charlotte Tilbury addict. I love Charlotte Tilbury, the brand, so, so much, and I just like to collect the stuff, to be honest. I don't know that I would ever tell anyone they need a face palette. Even myself, I don't use face palettes that often, even though I have quite a few of them, and this one is so pretty. I need to pull them out and use them more, especially this one because it's expensive. It's $75 and it's all dependent on what you will use. If you are not someone that gravitates towards face palettes and you have a lot of makeup, I would probably skip this for $75. Um, but if you're someone that maybe collect Charlotte Tilbury or you just want something quick and compact, to use very quickly. I feel like you could use this for blush, bronzer, highlight, and eyeshadow as well. So you could do that if you wanted to. Just depends on you and your collection though. For me, did I need this? 100% no. Am I happy with it? 100% yes. <laughs> 
Very nice, very pretty. So my thoughts on the Super Nude Eye Palette is I think it's a great neutral palette. I think most people, if you have a lot of makeup and you have a lot of eyeshadow palettes, are you gonna have these colors already? Absolutely. Um, to me, this almost kind of reminds me of a mini soft glam palette from Anastasia. That being said, these Charlotte Tilbury shadows are really nice in my opinion. They are not super pigmented, but they're very buildable. They are very buttery. They blend very, very well. And these colors are beautiful. Like I love this eye look, but I will say that I just filmed a fall makeup look a few videos back and I used the Soft Glam Palette from Anastasia and the look was very similar to this. I just used a little bit of shimmer because that palette has some shimmer shades in it, whereas this is a matte palette but very similar in terms of the look that I created. So again, it's gonna depend on you and if you want a small neutral palette. I mean, I do think you can do a lot with this. You could do a very easy eye look for every day, like just use one of these two browns and that's it. Or you do have the option to add some of these smokier colors. I think it's really nice um, and I'm personally happy with it, but again, I'm a Charlotte Tilbury collector, so. I want to try pretty much everything that she comes out with. And lastly, the lip combo. That I knew that I loved because I've been using it. Um, yeah, this supermodel color to me, so, so pretty. So, so pretty. But it is similar to Pillow Talk. So if you find, if you don't love Pillow Talk, you might not love this color. Pillow Talk to me is a little more... I would say a little more on the mauve -y side where this is like a true rosy nude, in my opinion. Pillow Talk can have a little bit of a purpley undertone depending on what you pair it with, but I love this. This is the Matte Revolution formula, which typically I don't love matte lipsticks, but I will say Charlotte Tilbury mattes are very creamy to be a matte. They are a matte finish, but they don't feel dry on your lips, which I really like. So don't let the fact that they're matte scare you away. Um, and I think that's it. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. If you haven't already, I hope you'll subscribe. I post three videos a week on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Also make sure to follow me over on Instagram at simply.blair and TikTok simply.blair01. I'll see you guys in my next video. Remember, simply be you.